Bonjour, bonjour, Shopify world. My name is Andrew from ecomexpress.io. And in this video, we're going to code a basic gallery onto your Shopify store. Below in the description, there is a link. If you follow that link and enter your info, you're going to get a full document with all the code that we provide um, so that you don't have to pause the video and retype all the code. You can just copy and paste everything like I'm doing in this video. All right, so enough about that. Let's just jump straight into welcome to our demo store right here. Um, just so you know how it looks like, it's our classic super ugly demo store. Um, and there is no page right now that has a gallery on it. So let's fix that. The first thing we're going to do is going to go to online store right here. Um, once you click on it, all your uh, themes are going to open up and we're going to click on actions and we're going to click on duplicate. Now on every video, I underline how important this is and that if you don't do this and you make a mistake, you are screwed on every video. There's people that are not doing it and that are screwed. If you skip this step, you're going to be screwed. Do not skip it. Make a duplicate of your theme. Um, there we go. Now we will work on this duplicate theme in case we make a mistake. We just delete it. It doesn't affect our live team. All right. Uh, let's go to actions right here and we're going to do edit code. So welcome to the code editor. Uh, it looks a bit like this, maybe a little bit intimidating. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a new page template. To do that here on the left side, there is a section called templates and right under it, you can click add a new template. It's going to ask you what type of template you want to add and you can choose page. Then it's going to ask the name of it and we're going to call it gallery. And the actually, before I start typing, the easiest way to do it is just to take the exact name given in the document in the link down below. That way, you know, you make, so make sure that there is no space here, make sure that there is no space in the back, just gallery. And then you create the template. All right. Next up, you're going to have this little template that shows up. The little code is going to be uh, pre-made for you in a certain sense. And so uh, we're going to need to wrap this right here. So right above, normally it should be line nine. Um, it, it changes from theme to theme though, but it should be around ninth line. Anyway, it should be the only thing that looks exactly like this, page.content. You go right above it, you hit enter, and then you paste what is provided right above diff with an id dash uh with an id that's equal to gallery dash page uh, and then you go right below it you hit enter and you're going to write another diff the code is provided but you can just close your div like this or you can copy paste the code anyway it has to look like this in the end. So we found the page dot content. We went one above, we added this, and then we went one below and we added this. Basically we're adding page dot content already exists and we say, okay, 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 but we want to add some attributes to it. So we're going to wrap it in what's called a div. Uh, there's divs everywhere in HTML. We're going to wrap it in a div and we're going to apply some rules to that div that then are going to be applied to the page dot content. It's pretty interesting stuff. If you want to learn HTML, it's very basic. It should take you about 20 hours and you should be good to go. Anyway, I'm diverting Andrew. Stick to the point. Uh, once that is done, you're going to click save right here. Super simple. The next element would be to add the actual styling of it. Uh, how do we want it to look? And for that, we go all the way down to the assets section right here. Um, and we're going to look for team.scss or team.css, something like that. I gave an additional step in step number three in case you don't find the theme.scss, which is pretty much impossible. But in case you don't find it, you, I explained to you how you can create your own. Um, but yeah. So we're just going to go to theme.scss.liquid. It's a huge file. So if you're in a huge file, you're in the right place. You're going to go to the very last line of it and you're going to hit enter a couple of times. You can hit enter as much as you want. Spacing doesn't really matter in CSS HTML. So you have know, as many enters as you want. Uh, and then you're going to copy and paste the code that we provided. So that code kind of looks like this. Um, uh, let me paste it. So it should say ID that the hashtag, the pound sign stands for ID, um, gallery dash. Oh, no, I made a mistake here. Um, 
ID gallery dash page, and then it explains how we want the page to look and the same for the div of with a class of full width. Anyway, um, just make sure that it starts with the hashtag. It ends with the curly brace. It, that's basically all you need to know. Uh, make sure that you don't miss anything and then you hit save. By the way, if you're building your store right now, and this is just a little extra, you might want to check out the video that we did about the importance of the roadmap and the seven steps to building like a hugely successful Shopify stores. We build a lot of them, so we're kind of getting in the red of it. And these are the seven steps we suggest to all of our clients. So make sure to check out that video after this one. All right, now this is done. Perfect. The next step is we're going to have to put it live for a little bit. Um, so make sure to do this when there is not too much traffic on your store. And we're going to go so to online stores right here. Um, we're going to do the copy of the debut team, which we just worked on with you. It's probably named a little bit differently, uh, but it's last saved just now. That's how we know that's the right one. We click on actions and we click on publish. It's going to ask us, are you sure you want to publish this version? Yes, we understand there might be a bug in it, but we're sure. Um, there shouldn't be a bug in it, but mm, we're sure. And so now our version that we have just worked on is live. Everyone can see it now. So I have to act kind of fast now. So we're going to go back to online store right here. We're going to do pages and we're going to create our gallery page. It's pretty straightforward. We do add a page. We're going to call it exactly the same as we called it before, which is a gallery. Keep it simple. Don't mess up naming, do the exact naming as it was. Um, and then here we're going to add a table. How do you add a table? Very simple right here. It says interest table and there we go. And then we go again and we do interest a row below. And then we go again and we say interest another row below and we interest another row below. And then we do interest a column before and actually two columns, but you can keep going with that as much as you would like. Now, once you have kind of like a table, um, you can start interesting images in it. For example, I want to add this one, make sure to have alt text for SEO purposes. It's pretty useful. All right. So I added this one in the first cell of our table. So in the cell right next to it, can I not make this bigger in the cell, right? Well, in the cell right below it, I'm going to add another picture. Up, up, up. This one, for example, interest, and then in the cell on the side of it, this cell right here, I'm going to add another picture, this one, and then in this cell, I'm going to add another picture, and you start getting the point here. Here, I'm going to add another one. And then once I've done that, there is one very important thing left that I need to do is the page dot suffix. I need to change the template of it. So um, I need to go in page dot gallery. Now, if you haven't put the theme that we just worked on just together, if you haven't put that live, it's not going to appear. So that's why we put it live. So now we put it live and it's going to appear. You just click on it and then you save. All right, perfect. It's saved. Let's see how it looks like right now. Drum roll. And here you go. This is our little gallery. Um, it's very, very basic. As I said, it would be, um, you can change, you can put the borders and this and that I explained in the document how to do that. You can play with the CSS. Um, and now you have a, a pretty basic, straightforward gallery that, you know, you can use to display your beautiful products or images or whatever you want to display in it. I hope this was useful. Um, there's tons of other videos that we do about coding. Make sure to check out some of our strategy videos as well. It could really make you grow a lot faster and make sure to subscribe if this was any, what valuable to you. And you're like, huh, you know, this guy is going to bring out a lot more Shopify value. I should probably subscribe to his channel and get to learn all that. Anyway, grand merci. And I will see you in another video. Adios. <laughs>